What's up, booze? What it do? What it do? Welcome to A Nicole Tarot. I am your girl, A Nicole, and I am here to deliver another general reading for my collective booze. So please come on in. I want to thank you all so much for your likes and your shares and your love um, and all the joy that you bring the channel. Special thank you to my booze who be hitting up my tip jar. I love y'all, okay? I love y'all. I always send an extra blessing up for you all whenever I receive those notifications and those things. So thank you. Another special thank you to my booze who have been scheduling their personal readings with me. I really, really, really enjoy tapping into your energy. Thank you so much for trusting me with your energy. All right, if you all want to connect with me off of here, if you want to schedule your personal reading, I will leave my information in the description below. Okay, in the meantime, in between time for this reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If it does not sound like you, guess what? It's not for you, boo, and that's okay. All right, um, I've already cleansed the space. I've already hollered at our ancestors and our spirit team, and we are ready, steady, freddy. So let's see what's been going on with my booze. Talk to me about my booze. First card out, hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So hammer, some this could talk about something being torn down, something being destroyed. You know, somebody destroying something, something someone being destructive, or you know, some sort of sabotage. You can also talk about wanting to rebuild something that was damaged, like a wreck it Ralph, a mask. Somebody could want to come back in and rebuild you know, or repair, you know, something. They could have been wearing a mask with you before. They could have lied to you before. They want to make things right after lying to you. Maybe after not showing their true feelings. Maybe being in delusional land, the Lulu land for true, true land, Pisces land. They want to come and make things right. Kisses. They want to come and kiss it better. Make it right. Ooh, passion. This person is burning up for you too. They've been missing you. They've been thinking about you and what y'all used to do, okay, if you know what I mean. But yeah, this person wants to come and love up on you. This person wants you to love up on them, you know. Hmm. They miss you giving them affection and love, how loving you were to them, you know. But I feel like somebody wants to come in and make some things right, Take their mask off, coughing. Yeah, somebody want to come in from the dead. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. Somebody trying to rise up. Tales from the motherfucking crypt. Okay? This how this motherfucker is coming. On the tales from the crypt. Endings. Bring new beginnings. Growth. Change. Liberations. Transitions. Hmm. Let's see. This could be somebody you deaded things with. You know, somebody you ended things with. Hmm. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more, spirit. Thank you. Hmm. Not enough. This person could feel not enough. This person could have felt frustrated. This person could have sabotaged y'all's connection. You know, they're in the coffin because, you know, they, they probably um sabotage they probably had a lot of issues that you just stopped wanting to deal with they probably had a lack of confidence you know you had to overly reassure this motherfucker you had to hold this motherfucker's hand all the goddamn time you had to continuously pump into this motherfucker and reassure this motherfucker over and over and over again more than you should more than what's healthy ain't nothing wrong with uh, assurance but it's something wrong when that's what you live off of but yeah, this person could have felt not enough. Or you could have felt not enough. Hmm, coffee cup. Keys on a ring. You know, this person could have had a whole lot of options. They could have been stringing you along. They could have been out here dealing with a lot of people. Kings with keys on a ring. Visiting a whole lot of hoes houses. Being a whole ass janitor out this bitch. With the skeleton key and shit. And it probably is, they're entertaining all of this shit, all of these people, you know, doing all of this nasty shit because they have insecurities. They don't feel like they're enough. They got mommy issues. 
Mm-hmm. This person, the golden mirror, you can't tell them shit about themselves. And that's probably what fucked up y'all's relationship, for real. Them being narcissistic. Them being self-absorbed. Okay? It being a one-sided relationship or them love bombing you. Because that's on here, too. But I'm telling you, this person wants to meet up. This coffee cup, this person wants to meet up and see you. Hmm. I'm going to have to uh, clarify this. Because coffee cup and a mask, this could mean they want to meet up as they fucking representative with that mask still on or take the mask off. I'll, I'll see. I'll see. Let me keep getting through. Tell me more, spirit. Twin flame. This could be someone who you feel as though is your twin flame. That's why this person wants to want, wants to meet up with you because now you stopped chasing them and now you're healing and now uh, the the roles are reversed. They want to chase you. Hmm. Girl with a snake, empath and a narcissist. Yeah, somebody dealing with a motherfucking em a narcissist. All right. And with this twin flame in reverse, for a lot of y'all, this ain't really y'all motherfucking twin flame. This is a fucking karmic. I'm going to leave it here. This is a fucking karmic. It's not a twin flame, but, you know, for those of you who think it is a twin flame, 222333 could be prominent camera. This person has been watching you or reminiscing about you. Maybe looking at old pictures, videos, especially those type of videos if y'all took them. You know, reminiscing about you. Because I'm telling you, it's a lot of heat for, the, for you from this person. A lot of passion. This person is horny, dorny, barny for you. You know, this person could be watching you, watching your stories. They could even have a whole ass fake page for y'all. Like, ain't nobody watching me. Mika Love and her kids. Uh, 96, that's him. Mm-hmm, that's him. But moving on, you know, this person may have a lot of keepsakes about you, you know, a lot of memories they kept from you. They're, they're definitely learning some sort of lesson as well. But I feel like this person is watching you. But girl with the snake, the empath and the narcissist, that's what was the nail in the coffin. A lot of you all got tired of their narcissistic ways. Girl with the snake. And then the hammer and the golden mirror, like th them thinking their shit didn't stink, them being self-absorbed, them not wanting to take accountability, you know, them not wanting to be equitable in a relationship, being selfish, being self-absorbed. You was like, okay, deuces. Okay, deuces. Where it go? Mm -hmm. But all, all, all the while, deep inside, they feeling not enough. All the while, deep inside, they losing Isaiah. They that, they that, 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 that hurt ass little fucking kid. Hmm. That ain't getting nobody's motherfucking, um, help. The sword and the rose is over a hammer. Yeah, this person, this person was the cause of you all's breakup. The sword and the rose, they stabbed you deep. They did something hurtful to you. Something you may have gotten clarity on and that's what was like, mm-mm. You got, I got to protect myself. The Sword in the Rose talks about clarity, truth, or revelation, solidarity. It could talk about force, protection, and power. Some of you all may have gotten clarity about something. It could have been something about them being narcissistic, the, the relationship being one-sided, them not being considerate of you. You know, once you got the clarity, you was like, okay, enough is enough. Is enough is enough. And all, of, all the while, I'm telling you, this person felt like they were not enough. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you walking away from them is changing them. The butterfly, and they're seeing you change. They know you're not going to be the same. Their butterfly talks about a transition, a relationship ending or evolving. You going into some sort of a new phase. You know, I feel like both of you have been changed from this uh, connection. You know, hmm. you could also um, identify within yourself why you were dealing with this person. It could have been some things in yourself where you didn't feel enough. That's why you was out here slumming and bumming. Stabbed in the back. Yeah, this person stabbed you in the back. And it could have been something. They may have been seduced by someone. You could have found out they had some sort of a rendezvous at the bar around two with somebody. You could have found out about some sort of tryst they had. They could have been flirting with someone, hooking up with someone, 
having a third party, taking somebody out on a date, and this shit really hurts you. Yeah, kings on the ring. This person had options. Yeah, this person was out here, Hugh Hefner, just a whole ass Ho Hefner. And it really hurt you. It stabbed you in the back. And this person was so fucking self-absorbed. This person was so far in their own fucking ass that they weren't even thinking about how that was going to affect you, how that was going to hurt you. Hijo de puta. Let's see. Anything else, spirit? Love. Yeah. And that's right over on the coffin. Unconditional love. That's what else died that day. Unconditional love. Your love for them. Your affection for them. And now you're working on your self-love. Your love for yourself. Your affection for yourself. You're over it. You're done. You realize you were dealing with a snake. A snake-ass motherfucker the whole time. You realize that. A slithering-ass motherfucker the whole time. A serpent. <laughs> My mother called them vipers. <laughs> you was dealing with a fucking viper okay <laughs> 11 11 on the clock when i said that yeah some this person could have been in competition with you this is somebody you had to look over your shoulder with they had you dealing with you there was another woman this person was doing some snake shit behind your back with this snake at the bottom <laughs> But this person is missing you. That whoever they was fucking around with, they not you. See, when you're getting what you're getting and you're comfy and you're getting too comfortable, what you're out here getting on the side, you're not thinking about how minute it is because you're still receiving the bulk of it from the other person but when the other person removes all of that that's when it really shines the light on a motherfucker just how small of a portion it took for you to lose this whole motherfucking force that now you ain't feeling nothing but draft you know this is a gaping hole this is something you this is a crater compared to this little pebble you know, you've been fucking off with. You've been stabbing in the back with. That's crazy. Mm hmm <sighs> And it's really crazy when you know you can't blame nobody but yourself. That's what really, that's what really starts stabbing their ass in the motherfucking back. You stabbed yourself in the back. Okay? You fucked yourself over. You know? So... I don't know. I'm going to leave it here. But this person, sunglasses, whoever this is, they watching you. They they haven't gotten over you, you dipping out on them. They watching you. Okay? Stalking you. You know, they, they're asking about you. They want to know about you. You know, they, they wonder who the hell you're talking to. You know, who you're going out with. Maybe the, the, the weather is about to change. You're about to be out there like, lay it in the middle of the days of the zone. Because I know the fuck I will. Okay. Um, and yeah, they worried about that shit. You know? So you better be uh drinking your motherfucking water. You better be eating your boneless, skinless fucking chicken breast and your steamed vegetables. You better be in that motherfucking gym looking good, baby. Because you got a great life coming. That's probably already here. Fuck them. Okay? I'm gonna leave it here. I hope these messages have brought you some clarity, comfort, closure. Whatever it was you were looking for. I hope you found it here and then some baby. I am your girl, A. Nicole. I am signing off. I love you. I'm rooting for you. I want the best for you, okay? And I'm here for you. All right, again, I'll leave my information below if you want to connect with me off of here. In the meantime, in between time, keep your head up. Keep your motherfucking bread up. And you already know you got to keep these hoes fed the fuck up so they can shut the fuck up, okay? I'm your girl, A. Nicole. I'll see you on another video. Bye-bye.